Hi y'all, who's ready to make some quote stickers? I am, so let's go over to Canva and make some. So the first thing you want to do is head over to Elements or your uploads and pick out a fo photo you want to use. Oh my goodness, this one is so funny. Let me, let me see if I can use this kid. That is funny. So I want to go and remove the background. Usually when I do stuff like this, they turn out better if you go ahead and upscale the image one or two times. Cam has been very funny lately. And once it's done upscaling, replace the image. So once the image has been replaced, what you want to do is go over to one of these apps they have. Um, you can pick whatever one you want. You can do, maybe if you want to do a weird sketch, you want to do anime. We're going to try cartoonified for this one. And I'm going to cartoonify and replace. Okay, so I made a crazy looking cartoon. It looks nothing like the kid, but still funny. So you're going to get random things and you only have a certain amount of credits a day. So you can only make a few of these. So you might want to uh, play around with some of the other apps and see what you can come up with. Or you can just leave the picture as is and do it that way. So what I do once I have it kind of cartoonified, uh, what I want to do is head over to Elements. And I am going to pick me out a square. Give me a square Canva. And then I'm going to pick out a color. Let's see. Let's do something like this. And then you're going to make it the shape of however you want it. If you want it thin, you want it thick, whatever shape you want the box size for your sticker and how much you want the top part sticking out dependent on your photo. And then you're going to crop that into the side. You're going to go into position and you're going to take it and put that behind. Oh, I forgot to remove the background on it. Oopsie, caught myself there. So we're going to remove the background after you cartoonify and then you're going to bring it out like so. And then we're going to head over to text. We're going to pick our text out. Um, I used permanent marker for this and how my boss makes me feel and then I'm going to change that to white or maybe change it to white make it smaller enter move it here and then what I want to do now is I want to down uh Put a contrasting color as your background color. Let's do something like pink. Oops. Let's add a little bit of effects to this. How about a shadow? Make that black so you can see it a little bit better. And then what I want to do now is I want to download it. So I'm going to go file. Download. And then I am going to change it into a PNG since I'm using the video format transparent background and download so what i want to do now is i'm going to do one for the free people right now so if i'm going to bring this back in and i'm going to check it out let's check it out real quick and change that to white background let's do um great bring that back in Okay, that's the transparent background. So if you are a free user, let's get rid of this buddy here. What you're going to do is you're going to go file, download, PNG. You're going to pick your page. Done. Download. We're going to go over to remove BG. I have one already in here, so let's do a new one. Practice, practice, practice when doing tutorials, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And then you can just do that, and it'll take out the background. Um, I like Remove BG for one reason, too. 
So I did some of them in the square in Canva with the background remover and it took the square out. So this is so intuitive too, because like I can go and restore and just, just do like this. And it's going to take, bring that whole square back instead of going in Canva. And I'm just doing this for an example and just going, Oh my gosh, dude, I get the line straight. Did I get the line straight? Oh no, I went over this. You don't have to, it is just like super intuitive. You just brush over it and it'll figure it out. So that's what I like to do. So now this, you're, um, yeah. Now this is that this is done, what we're going to do is just hit done and download and bring it back into Canva. And then we'll head back over to Canva. And as you can see, I'll just put a new thing in there and then we'll re-upload it. And what I like to do when I use Remove BG, as you can see, is a little bit blurry. So I'll just go over into my image upscaler and do upscale it two or three times and it'll look just as good as the one that came back from Canva. So now that it's done doing that, I'm going to replace it and see how nice and crisp that looks. So I'm going to go and put it on the page with the Canva one. And actually, I think it actually looks better than the Canva one, but at the moment. So we'll use the remove BG one. Okay. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to take all this extra extra off the side here. And then what I'm going to do now is I am going to go over to shadows, outline, change my outline to a white. And ta-da, I have me a cool little quote sticker, cutesy pootsy. And uh, like I said, I saw somewhere where people were actually selling these and I thought they were like really cute. And I don't know where they made them at, but... It was kind of cute, so I was like, hey, can I do the like the little pop-out ones? So let's see. Like I made these three. So I made these three on one page. So that made it kind of easy. So you make three on one page. Just make sure if you're gonna do like any kind of shadows or anything when you're done to make sure there's a lot of spacing so you can like duplicate that and just individualize them. You can just cut it down like that and have one of each now when you use these little cartoon apps uh anime apps whatever you use to make these things just be careful if you make her look like that once it's not going to happen again so let me show you when i went and tried again so i used the same app and that's how she turned out the second time as you can see there's some weird brush sticking out the top of her head i don't know that one was weird. And then when I try to use this kid again, uh, it turned out looking like this, which that one's okay. He looks really evil, but he looks evil in the other one. And then I used it one time. I used up my credits and I did him. And that's supposed to be cartoonified. Now the original picture is, you know me, I'm over here babbling. Um, this. So that's what he originally looked like. That was my first attempt at cartoonify with him. Well, this was my very first attempt. That's what he turned out. I like that. And this was my second, which not even a cartoon. It just morphed the kid into another kid. And this was my third attempt. Like this one I probably would do. He kind of looks more like a gremlin. I don't know, but like I said, it can be hit, hit or miss if you use those, but you can also use them as just straight up. Let's put him over here. Like take him off and you could just put him on. He still looks grimly, grim, 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 grimly, ugh. like a gremlin. There you go. Tongue tied y'all. Okay. Well, I've held y'all up enough for today. You know I love you guys. And I hope you had fun on this one. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.